Drag my mower out, fill it with my plastic jar. Hey YouTube, Shea Bear 1000 here. Listen, uh, Pooh Bear and I was uh, kind of doing a little running around exploring today a little bit, looking for houses and whatnot, also houses to rent or buy. But anyway, uh, we come across a couple yard sales, and the first one I come across, I found this neat lawnmower's push mower. I haven't seen one in years. I remember my grandmother had one when I was eight, nine years old, and I remember this thing. It's really cool. It's called a Curtis. It has a Clinton engine on it. Now, uh, I'm going to do a little video. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change the oil, of course, check the car, make sure there's no dirt in it. Uh, the gas has been drained out of it, so it's pretty clean in there, but still, just to check, I bought a new plug. I'm going to do those things, and we're going to see if we can get it running. But uh, anyway, there's a, a channel on YouTube, uh, 805 Road King. I uh, hope you don't mind me mentioning your name, buddy, but uh, check him out. Him and a, a guy named Mike, he has his own channel too, but I'm not sure what his channel is, but I am subscribed to him as well. For the gearheads, these guys are awesome. They do some awesome crap on them. I mean, it's just amazing the things they do in this guy's garage. So, uh, Road King, this is also for you, and uh, if you know any insight on this, because uh, I'll show you something. So, um, for Road King... I know you've probably seen these many times. I'm going to need that air cleaner there. And of course the muffler is nothing. But uh, if you know of anybody or any good place I can get one online, uh, please let me know. I'd like to get a, get a hold of that. The muffler is no big deal, of course. But this is what it is, uh, YouTube. Um, it's a Curtis Manufacturing company from Muncie, Indiana, which I'm not real far away from. They're actually where I live right now in Ohio. It's a 21 inch and it has a Clinton engine on it, which is a three and a half horsepower cast. It's got a cast iron sleeve. It's three and a half horsepower. Now I do have the uh, the handle here and what's neat is I'll show you here after a bit. I had to take the handle off to put it back to the Buick, but the handle goes on here and when you get to the end of a row when you're mowing and you get to the end of a row you don't have to turn the whole mower around the handle just flips back so I'll show that to you here in a little bit also and there's the I, I, I believe this to be all original and uh, there's serial number and model number and and all that stuff on there and I uh, you know gives you the 30 weight oil in the summer and, and uh, 20 weight in winter um, things of that nature I do not see a date on it so I'm not sure if someone can roughly date this for me I would really appreciate that now this I am not going to restore I'm going to get it running I think it's really cool and as you can see I'm I'm almost positive that is original paint aluminum deck now the spark plug was in it but I pulled the plug out when I went to the parts store to uh, get a new plug for it, which it did have spark, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a new plug in it. Uh, I'm not sure if these wheels are original, but these older wheels they had bearings in them, and these do have bearings in them. And these old motors, for, for those of you that don't know, um, <clears throat> this is how you adjusted the wheels. You actually had to take the wheel off and adjust the height of your deck, of your motor deck the height of how much it would cut or how high and how low it would cut uh, nowadays you guys have seen them they got them little levers and quick release you know but um this is what what is really cool about this uh Pooh Bear wanted to give me uh, some gas and uh, for when I get ready to do this but this actually cranks up and if you can see right there that actually turns this, and you crank it up and when it's cranked, you flip this back down, this little catch right here, goes right in that notch, and then you push it down. And that's how it would crank over. It did not pull start. And I remember my grandmother had one of them for years when I was little. But enough with the boring stuff, so uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I get the oil out of here and changed, and uh, maybe we'll, we'll get it running. But uh, like I said, it's got spark right now. 
so I know because I got bit. So uh, I want to go ahead and uh, check the carburetor, and uh, which is right under here. Turn the light on for you. If that helps, I don't know. You see that? That's the uh, that's the bowl of the carburetor down under there. So I'm going to check it, and make sure there's no gunk in there. So I'll get back with you here in a few minutes, YouTube. All right, YouTube, I'm back. Okay, we got this upside down. And I told you I was going to check the carburetor out. I didn't see any reason in pulling it off because there's the float. And I pulled the bowl off. Now, here's the bowl. I have not cleaned that. And Pooh Bear wasn't here to uh, videotape this for me. but So I just went ahead and pulled that off. But as you can see, there was, like, right in the corner, a little bit of dust. Other than that, that's what you see now also what is really cool about this this is really neat that I haven't seen one of these in a long time either I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but I'll try to get down in here for you I got the light on right here this is an adjustable float and for those of you that don't know this float this is when your gas goes in it comes up and shuts the gas off so it doesn't flat out this is an adjustable float. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. You adjust that to wherever you need it instead of bending the little tab. Now the gearheads know what I'm talking about, but the little tab you bend, and that's how you adjusted it. This is how you adjust it on here. You just turn that little bolt. Awesome. This, this thing is just freaking cool, man. I mean, you know, Pooh Bear knows me. She was like, when I loaded it, she was like, are you going to paint it? <laughs> she do better. I said, hell no. She said, I knew you were going to say it. No, because if it's original paint, I just want to leave it like it is. Like I said earlier, these uh, are these wheels are bearing and they're steel. They're all plastic anymore, but look at that thing. That thing will sit and spin for five minutes. But I wanted to show you the carburetor. It's, that's awesome how clean it is. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get the oil changed. There's the underneath. I didn't touch anything but other one other than do that. Uh, there's the blade, which is not bad for the for the year this thing's been sharpened a few times, but uh, it's not bent and uh, there's no there's no movement in the uh, in the bearings. Um, it does have spark and uh, it's just this thing is really really cool. Um, so anyway. So there's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil out and put some oil in it. And um, I will videotape this when we try to start it for the very first time. And I'm not, I'm not going to uh, ether it or anything like that. I'm just going to, we're just going to try to start it. So and we're going to see what happens. So next time you see it, it'll be its made and run in like 20 years, hopefully. And if it don't, we'll just keep trying. So, there we go. Be right back with you. Hi, YouTube. Me again. Pooh Bear's behind the camera. Hi, everybody. Okay, now what we did on this is um, we, uh, we had to get a new fuel line because the old fuel line is was a potential leak. So... I told Pooh Bear we need a 5 16 inside diameter line, and she went and got me one. Now, the, out, the other thing they had was a bigger outside diameter, but she got the right side and the inside diameter. So this is fine for now, because that's all we had where we're at. So she did a great job. Thank you, Pooh. You're welcome. And um, like I said, it had spark. I took the top off, and we cleaned the points and the coil. Now, in order, <laughs> they're probably wondering what this is doing here. Now, I'm not going to tell them the real fact. I didn't use this for it on this side. I used this as a hammer. Now, they make a tool to get the flywheel off of these things. It's called a flywheel puller. For those of you that are kind of gearheads, but not really, I don't recommend using that. But Road King and Mike, you know what I'm talking about, why I use that to get that flywheel off. That's all I'm going to say because you're not supposed to and you shouldn't and I highly recommend you don't use that. But anyway, we cleaned the points and uh, by the way, it took one tap it came right off. We cleaned the points and um, put it all back together and I spun the flywheel 
and I could feel spark. It was zapping hell out of me. But the new plug that I bought that I told you guys about a few minutes ago wouldn't spark it. So I got the old plug <laughs> and plugged it on there and uh, turned it. It sparked every time. So I got a bad brand new plug. But this is our maiden run here, and let's see if it's going to run. And I'll show you how. Pooh, there's a chair there. I know. I'll show you how we start this. You got the this in here pretty good. Mm-hmm. Now this is the first time. We'll make sure we got it choked. Let's see what happens. I don't know, but let's find out. <laughs> Hot damn, that's a good sign. Now, I don't know how long this thing's been without running, what, 20 years, man? I don't know. It's, I forget what the guy did. Hehehehe <laughs> 